everybody, I hope you're all keeping well. Today I'm going to read you a story called Alan's Big Scary Teeth by Jarvis. Alan came from a long line of very scary alligators. He was known throughout the jungle for his scaring. It's what he did best. Alan would start each day polishing his scales sharpening his nails and brushing each of his big scary teeth for at least 10 minutes at a time. And after practicing his frightening faces in the mirror, he'd sneak into the jungle for his morning round of scaring. Alan went snap, snap and grrr. He said things like, I'm a big scary Alan, fear my razor sharp teeth. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads, the monkeys tumble from the trees and the parrots screech in terror. Oh, ha, ha. I love being scary, laughed Alan. After a long day of scaring the jungle animals, Alan would head back home to the swamp. He'd relax, finish the crossword in the jungle times and take out his false teeth. Nobody knew about Alan's false teeth. Good night teeth, sweet dreams my scary snappers, Alan would say as he put them away carefully in his super secret hiding place. One morning Barry the beaver was up early collecting wood and came across a dozing Alan. <laughs> Terrified that Alan might wake up and gobble him whole, he quickly dived behind a bush. <gasps> Phew, that was close, thought Barry, just as a set of false teeth fell out of a bush with a very familiar snap snap. When Alan awoke, his teeth were gone. My teeth, my teeth, where are my teeth? What could he do? Maybe no one would notice. Could he still be scary without them? He decided to head into the jungle as usual. He made the frogs leap off their lily pads, the monkeys tumble from the trees and the parrots screech with laughter. <laughs> and just wasn't very scary without his teeth. Alan slunk back to the swamp. He had never been more embarrassed. He came from a long line of very scary alligators. Scaring was all he had ever known. What would Alan do now? Poor Alan <laughs> began to cry. Just a bit at first, but then the tears kept coming. He howled and yowled more than all the jungle babies put together. And he could not stop crying until... Next morning, all the animals turned up at Alan's swamp with his big scary teeth. We'll give you back your teeth, said Frog. Really? said Alan. On one condition, said Parrot. You have to stop scaring us. But what will I do? I don't know how to do anything else. We have an idea, said Frog. And so every day, after polishing his scales, sharpening his nails and brushing his big scary teeth, Alan headed into the jungle and became Alan the gardener, Alan the hairdresser and Alan the dentist. But every night he became Alan, the big, scary storyteller, thrilling the jungle animals with his terrifying tales. Oh, I love being scary, laughed Alan. And sometimes he even let Barry borrow his teeth. 